something different. Don't do the same thing every time. If you do the same thing every time, it's the same as me when I watch a drag flicker. You can begin or see what they do and try and predict things, like how you run your defensive routine. So for shuffles, as a goalie, you do something different every time. If you didn't, and they spotted that you were weakness to a spin, every single one of them would come in and just do a spin and beat you every time. So it's trying to do something different so they don't know what you're going to do. So then they have to make their plan up on the spot rather than having a premeditated idea. Because the idea is to just use the eight seconds as much as possible and just make them have a rubbish shot at the end and just try and put it straight into your pads or something like that. Waste of the time. When they first start the shuffle, it's all holding at the end to try and make yourself look as big as possible on the way out. From an attack point of view, it's quite intimidating. And then once they are close to you, then try and disrupt them as much as possible to try and sweep the ball away, get a, get a jab tackle in, just try and move that ball off the end of the attack stick, make something up, up on the spot when they have got to in, improvise rather than have a premeditated plan. So the biggest thing is to try and stay up as long as possible, try and stay mobile, block the shot, but then make sure you can react and move to the next one because a lot of the time it's a lot of bluffing and a lot of body feints and a lot of things to try and make you do something. The attacker wants you to make a decision rather than them have to make a decision. You can come out a long way and then shuffle back with them. It gives you an option to, as you drop off, you don't get beaten easily around, around the sides of you because obviously they're further away. But the problem is, because they're further away, they can just then turn around and just shoot without any pressure on them. So you can either go a long way and try and back off or you stay deep and then try and react or give them one side maybe and then, then try and then cut, shut it off quickly. Just trying to make them think rather than be a robot and come in. Jab and come back out just adds that extra element of pressure without having to actually overcommit. As soon as you dive in and go full headlong for your stick, they just pull the ball back out and dribble around you. So it's just trying to jab in, pull out, jab in, pull out. I'm just trying to disrupt.